Hey guys, previously you've let me know you would like seeing me take a look at a cheap mechanical keyboard that at least on paper offers pretty much all the bells and whistles expensive keyboards do. At a price of just 60 euros, that would be about 70 US dollars, is this finally a good mechanical keyboard for the price? So let me introduce you, this is the Crotus computer model 1 featuring out MU brown switches. Yeah, and I'm not surprised you've never even heard of that brand Crotus computer before, or for short KC. It's pretty much a brand new German brand. And let me tell you, I'm the type of reviewer that likes giving smaller and lesser known brands some attention and a chance to prove themselves with their products. Right away I probably should let you guys know that anyone not residing in Germany probably won't be able to get their hands on this keyboard yet. So this more or less is a video for my German viewers on this channel and on my second channel with German only videos. Most likely I'm the world's first reviewer to take a look at this Model 1. So how is it? Is it worth the 60 euros or should you rather save up some more cash for a better mechanical keyboard? Right away in terms of aesthetics, let's be honest, it doesn't look like an expensive keyboard. If you've seen many keyboards, it's clearly visible that's a low budget mechanical keyboard. Still I'm impressed the Model 1 is fairly well built, comes with an aluminum top plate, a braided USB cable and a wrist rest. Oh and where are my manners? RGB lighting is on board too. In terms of switches, while at a price of a mere $70, one should not expect Cherry MX, we at least do get no no-name switches here. These are out MU Browns rated for a 50 million keystroke lifespan. And yeah, yeah, out MU switches might be off-putting to some, but actually it's quite nice typing with those, despite them having a slightly different feel compared to Cherry Max Browns. But how do they sound like you ask? Take a short listen. The actuation force is at 55 grams, 1000 Hz report rate and we do get an N key rollover with this Model 1. Ok, after typing a while with this keyboard, I found out I don't quite like the wrist rest. It's entirely out of plastic and has that rough texture to it that some might like but I do not. Another thing I have to point out is the slightly weird feel of the keycaps. At least now, while the keycaps are fresh and new, they kinda remind me of chalk. After 6 months of use, that feel would probably be gone anyway, so no deal breaker for me. Of course on the bottom we have rubber feet as well as stands. Oh and a total of 12 media keys as secondary functions. Win lock is also possible by holding down both windows or rather other KC keys. Now as for the RGB illumination, you can go through the different effects on keyboard and change those on the fly along with brightness control. But of course the more convenient way of doing all this is through software. The KC smart lighting software unfortunately is hard or impossible to find on the Crotus computer website. But luckily there is a download link included in the short user guide and on the packaging. And I gotta say I'm impressed with the software. It does work very well and there are tons of effects to choose from. Besides all keys can be lit up and customized individually, recording and assigning macros works like a charm too. So at the end of the day at a price of $70, definitely not a bad keyboard in its core. The build quality is pretty good too and the typing experience is pleasant. My only gripe with this Model 1 is the plasticky texturized wrist rest and the weird keycap feel. Other than that I'm impressed, even the RGB lighting is well done. So this board of keys obviously is not perfect, but it still does offer a good value. Which is why I can recommend this Crotus computer Model 1, for those that want a fairly decent mechanical keyboard while not having to spend a fortune. Priced at 60 euros, I'm giving this thing my silver award. And as always, thanks for watching.